Carolyn and I edited this textbook for nurses with the Royal Commission having recently published its final report. This is a really timely um, conversation for us to be having. Whereas we didn't produce this book in response to the Royal Commission, it is hopefully a valuable resource as we work together as educators to prepare nurses for the future. The report in essence really recognised the changing demographics of older Australians and how those changing demographics and the increasing rates of comorbidity and disability has influenced the demand for aged care services and really whether the services have kept up with that demand. And it detailed substandard care in both routine and complex care. It really highlighted three areas of specific concern and two of those areas, dementia care and palliative care, the Royal Commission said should be core business for aged care services. And the other area that became evident throughout the submissions to the Royal Commission was about mental health and about the workforce being able to identify and support someone with a mental health condition. So what can we achieve? We, as the educators of the future nursing workforce, we can't overhaul the aged care sector. We can't bring in new legislation. But what we can do is we can ensure that our nursing workforce in the future is skilled and compassionate and empowered as clinical leaders and also as advocates for older people. And the other thing that Caroline and I thought about as we were developing this book, you know, a lot of placement into aged care is a fundamental part of nursing practicums. Often it's the first placement for first year student nurses. And our question is, well, if the skills and training are lacking in aged care services, what are our students learning on those practicums? So this book, we targeted um, to the undergraduate nursing student cohort. I've been using it for one of my postgraduate gerontology grad certs, and it's suitable for that. We also see that it has application for employed nurses who are working in residential aged care. And the way that we wanted to present it and formulate the book is so that information is easily accessible. So we've used lots of bullet points and we've used lots of text bots so that nurses and student nurses can really pull out the information that they need. We purposely titled this book Gerontological Nursing rather than aged care nursing, because we see that the care of older people is complex and it requires a comprehensive approach, a holistic approach, and we believe it's a specialty in itself. And we titled the book accordingly. We also ensured that the book covered the continuum of care settings for older people. So acute care, residential care, community care, and transitional care. So we really looked across the whole gamut. We've kind of used a person-centred approach in relation to this book and every chapter relates to that one individual in the middle and person-centred care is the denominator of the book. There's chapters in there about how to navigate the system because not everybody knows. Um, there's chapters in there about seeing what's happening with the ageing population in Australia and in New Zealand. There's information in there about what's uh, going on nationally, internationally within older people care. We have dedicated chapters to those three areas of substandard care and complex care. So we have dedicated chapter to palliative care. We have a very comprehensive chapter to, on mental health. And we have a, a dedicated chapter to neurocognitive disorders, which includes dementia. We start each chapter with learning objectives. And these are just four or five bullet points on what we expect to achieve by the end of the chapter. With each chapter, we have put together a weekly chapter worksheet. So it just highlights 10 key points that you may want the student to be able to answer questions on by the time they finish that chapter for that week. Now, these can be changed. Um, you can change these as you like, but these are in your extra resources and these come with the book as well. On each of the chapters, we do have some multiple choice questions that you can use as educators. And each chapter has PowerPoints to go with it, which pull out the learning objectives and the important points of the chapters.